Hi, I would like to talk about uh, issue 61, the Norwegian Population Health Study using machine learning to predict a quantitative trait. And I want to discuss why I think that GCAE um, and then the added experimental phenotype prediction does not work correctly. So what I found out is if you let the algorithm work over time um, so epoch is the time NMSE means a normalized mean standard error I discovered that using a normalized data set uh, like a, a real data set that had a, a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one then the normalized mean squared error converges to one and in this case you see slightly um, that it started at a ever below one and then converge to one. So that was very weird because what you would expect is that the neural network learns to do better predictions so you expect the error to converge to zero. So that is the reason why I dived into this because how can that be? So there are some more graphs I made and you see that sometimes the error is also so these are multiple settings but you see that it never goes below one. And again, this is a data set that has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Um, that's how all the values are normalized with. Um, and uh, th that converges to one. Also when it's below one, it goes to one. So how can that be? So I had, uh, what well, so I investigate this here, I felt it had to do something with the negative um, values. Uh, maybe it didn't account for this, but um, let's take a let's 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 make a graph here because the one that we find uh, can be perfectly explained. So here I draw a trait value, and here at this axis I put a frequency. So how often you find it, and in the data I have been using, it was like a bell shape with a standard deviation of one and a mean of zero. Let's add some values here. So this is zero, uh, this is let's say one, let's say this is minus one. So we know that the error that GCA uses is the exp is the predicted value minus um, the actual value and then they square it and then they take the mean of it. This is not a not. Uh, and then take the mean minus n. N is the number of measurements. If the predict, if the actual value, let's say it doesn't convert, but if it, the actual value would be zero, let's say it always predicts. Oh, so that means it should be a the predicted value is always zero. For every data point, if the predicted value is zero, then if you fill in this equation, then the error is one. Um, so, so you can uh, you can check that yourself. And that got me thinking. All right. So, if my data is normally distributed, and that the mean squared error, if you use the the, the, the trade values, is one, then what would happen? If I would use different, um, if I would change the range of trade values, that's what I'll discuss here. So let's say I'm going to use a phenotype, a trait that is, for example, X. Um, for example, we have uh, three possible genotypes, and let's say the trait is uh, zero, o dot five, and one dot o. So this is a purely additive trait. In this case, I would expect that, assuming that the predicted value will always be zero, um, well, whatever I expect, I expect error to be well somewhere. Let's like here the, the scale doesn't matter, um, and for another trait, I should use a different color for that. Then I expect so, so. Now we're going to use a trait two. So let's say this has an initial value of ten. 10.5 and CC is 11. So I expect that for the red trait, 
that the neural network will make a bigger error at the start because the values are more different from zero like I assume that a, a random neural network predicts traits to be around zero and I expect that in both cases for, for, for this extreme trait that it goes down to zero and that for the black trait for trait one that it also goes to zero that's what I would expect if the neural network indeed learns so that's exactly what I have done I made a setup in which the traits in the genetic data is completely the same I simulated this um, but the traits were either low or high and I also have negative traits even so also let's have, uh, let's add a negative trait let's do something like this um, let's make it green trait 3 which has minus 10 AC is minus 9.5 and CC is minus 9.0 so I expect the error to be here and then go down if the neural network indeed converges it should go to zero that's not what I found this is what I got as a result it's at the bottom um, I'll zoom in a bit so what you see so I've used the, the, the phenotypic trade value starting from minus 10 up to 0 and then up to plus 10 and then you see that if the the phenotypic traits are centered around 0 I call this the base phenotype value it's like this the first number that uh, of all three that I give so this is the base phenotypic value of 10 this is 0 this is minus 10 then if it's the closer it's to 0 the lower the normalized mean square is squared error is the problem is that the more that I deviate from this zero the bigger the error is and also it converges to that bigger error so whereas whatever the base phenotypic value is it should converge to zero and that's what makes me think that the phenotypic prediction of the norm of the GCAE does not converge well so I'm going through the code uh, just a little bit so um, it's in issue 61 you can find this in the North and Sweeper Plagial Study Machine Learning Qt uh, Qt github folder script local folder issue 61 um, here I simulate some data of 100 individuals you can use more it gives you the same results with a minor allele frequency of 0.49 so all the variants are um, are present a lot with one snip for an additive trait the base phenotypic value is zero and the increase by being heterozygous or having the, mi the minor allele twice is 0.5 exactly as I showed um, in these uh, pictures I used the same values there so this is how it's initialized you'll see that we'll, 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 we'll use that uh, and override that well if you want to take a look this is the mapping table it's very dull because you only have one snip this is the pad table so this is snip one text only data uh, you can check it for yourself it's just a lot of individuals that have for these uh, that have with that minor little frequency and here is the here are the phenotypes which are 0, 0 0.5 and sometimes um, 1.0 I can converge this to binary data and I store the original phenotype data because I'll be adding different base phenotypic values to it to the original data type to the original phenotypic table so I'll reuse the genetic data so what I do here for all these base phenotypic values I collect some results I do this by going over all those base phenotypic values I show that on screen where which iteration I am at I get this base phenotypic value which is minus 10 first and minus 9 minus 8 etc in my data I copy the original phenotypic table and then I add to all the uh, phenotypic traits this base phenotypic value so initially I'll subtract 10 then I subtract 9 then subtract 8 etc until I add 10 and then I'm done well I save this in some folders that's all fine I save the data so it can be worked on 
I run a GCA experiment using a standard model, using a standard Fiontep prediction model. I analyze uh, 10,000 epochs instead of uh, a thousand. No metrics are needed. I just do a GCA experiment. Then I copy the base phenotypic value in my results table and as a result I also add the normalized mean squared errors in time as a table and then um, I just uh, combine them and then you get the CSV that's also there. So this one uh, so you can check for yourself um, and uh, well this is all nice and dandy but you can also take a look at the, at the um, plot so here I create the plot that's very simple I save it it's also here um, and this is how you reproduce my result so I can I would think that GCAE and then the experimental quantitative trade prediction addition um, doesn't converge because the normalized mean squared errors um, are dependent on the height of the trade value they should this error should converge to zero always but instead what it does it converges to higher numbers if the average trade value is higher so I guess this is the same mathematics as I've shown here um, if you just sum the errors then you get probably these values here all right that's my reasoning um, enjoy the rest of your day